Hey Roll folks, it's fantastic to see you all back here again on the channel. This is your regular dose of Roll news and analysis. And before we move on to any further details, guys, I'd just love to say a massive thank you for your enormous support over the last few weeks and months. And if you don't want to miss out on anything Royal, make sure to hit that notification bell and do a good deed for the day, guys. Hit that subscribe button. It's free and we could do with a subscription. So let's go for it. It's a win-win situation. Now let's get started on today's video. So recently Kate Middleton managed to outdo Prince Harry without even trying when she answered a very poignant question. Yes, you have heard it right, folks. A surprise addition to the titled throng at the flower show was Kate, the Princess of Wales, who turned up dressed like she was popping back to the 50s to run a cricket tea in the home counties. But still, she had small children to charm and a point to make about how good nature is for small people. Small children who ask uncomfortable questions like what being a bona fide princess means. So asked by one child what the royal family does, the princess replied, you have to work hard, but you know the best thing about it is meeting kiddies like you. Good save. She also added, they help support all the different people in the country, showcasing all the amazing work being done and look after everyone. And that right there is a lesson that Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex and possible owner of California's most well-used Xbox, should be paying attention to. Now, he might have traded uh, ever having to go to the Chelsea Flower Show and having to pretend to care about the Dahlia's four weeknight nigiri sessions with rom-com royalty in Montecito, but Kate's message still applies to him. When Harry published his tell-all memoir, there were only three words on the cover. Two of those were his royal title. When his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, picked up her award for being a top-notch feminist last week, it was with her married name slapped over everything. My point is the Sussexes still clearly want to be known by their old titles and defined by their adjacency to the throne. A fact that many may not have something to do with sound of cash registers ringing in the background. Therefore, so long as they are self-identifying as royal, then it does not also should be holding themselves to the same standards of service and do-goodery. Except the Sussexes circa 2023 seem much better at more and more interested in promoting themselves or fighting their own pet fights than seeing the charity world on fire. In the last six months, Archwell Foundation has been tootling away in the background doing impressive work, but Harry and Meghan themselves have only appeared in photos and videos on four different occasions. Now, that only just beats the number of awards three that the couple have individually or together collected in the same time frame. Those numbers just don't quite add up. In 2021, the Sussexes infamously put out a statement pointing out that the service is universal, which it definitely is, but you have to actually do the service and all the boring bits that entails and not just talk about it. Now, when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex threw off the royal bridle, they're well, they're charitable oyster, they could anyway do anything and be as loud as passionate as their values and Wi-Fi dictated. While the pandemic may very well have clipped their wings still, they have had carte blanche to be as audacious creative as their humanitarian work as they fancy. So what do you guys think about the news? Do you think that Prince Harry should take lessons from Princess Kate about how to be a real royal? Please share your thoughts in the comments, guys. And until next time, have a great day. We'll see you again soon for more royal news and analysis. Bye for now.